My next guest says that paying students is wrong, and he's got some pretty credible credentials of his own. Cody McDavis played D1 basketball for the University of Northern Colorado from 2012 to 2015. He's joining me now from Minneapolis, where he's attending the Final Four. He's currently a student at the UCLA Law School, where he's the managing editor of Law Review. And he wrote this piece for the New York Times, paying students to play would ruin college sports. By the way, Cody, I'm far more impressed. I'm not taking away anything from your game, but I am, as a lawyer, far more impressed that you are the managing editor of Law Review. So well done. Thanks, did you Michael. hear anything Appreciate from Senator me. Murphy? Sure. And it, did Senator Murphy turn your head at all, or are you still of that mindset that paying athletes would be a mistake? Look, I respect what the senator is saying. I think he's coming from a good place, but as a former Division One student athlete who's been through it, who has studied uh, the issues surrounding this this matter for the majority of the past decade, I, I respectfully disagree. How come? Make your case. So I think that what gets lost in this whole issue is that we're talking about men's basketball and football. And, and moreover, we're talking about men's basketball and football at a select number of universities. The Clemsons, the Yukons, the Alabamas, those are the universities that the senator is speaking of. But he even mentioned that Yukon can't afford the facilities that Clemson can. And if Yukon can't do it, then the smaller universities like myself, Northern Colorado or other small schools, um, they can't either. And so the problem that, that arises is that paying men's basketball student athletes and football student athletes is a cost to a, any institution. And where are they gonna get this money from? What happens is they end up cutting other sports to make this money arise. Men's basketball and football student athletes, that, that they are participating in a sport that is a revenue generating sport, generally. Other sports, no other sport generates revenue. And so you have to find a way to pay these student athletes and you're going to pay your men's basketball and your foot, football student athletes and other student athletes are going to lose opportunities because of it. In the long run, I see that as a huge problem. Are the athletes themselves happy with the current arrangement? I mean, the senator points out that 14 billion comes in annually and 2.9 billion ends up in scholarship monies. How do the athletes feel mm -hmm. about this? Do you think that you speak for many? I do. I do believe that I speak for many. I've been contacted by many, many current and former Division I student athletes across the country since my op-ed and well before then. Um, I'm well connected across the country just by the benefit of being a former student athlete and speaking on this issue. Um, specifically, there's a student athlete at the University of Idaho who reached out to me and mentioned that after 2015, there was this issue um, with cost of attendance stipends that came out. These are cash stipends that are going to student athletes um, for their cost of living at any given university. And what, what she saw um, on her soccer team that had just won back-to-back -back championships was that her president informed her that her team was, was very likely going to be cut unless she spoke up about it or unless her team advocated for their remaining a part of the university because they chose to give cost of attendance stipends to their men's basketball and football student athletes. These, these pressures that are created by the universities that have a lot of finances, again, the Auburns, the Clemsons, the Alabamas who can give these kind of incentives to their student athletes, it trickles down and it causes pressures on other universities to do the same thing for their football and their men's basketball student athletes. And that causes great losses for other student athletes in other sports that this country does not give great attention to, but are giving their blood, sweat, and tears to those same sports. And I think that they deserve the respect and the opportunity to get an education at the university that they chose, and moreover, to play the sport at the university that they chose. We do not talk about them enough. I take it you're gonna be a trial lawyer. Uh, actually, I'm going to be doing uh, transactional work. I'll be doing uh, documents and, and uh, contract drafting. <laughs> Mistake. Get out of the back room and into <laughs> the courthouse, my friend. Okay? You've got the gift. Thank you for being here.